and back to part two. We're gonna shape this a little bit on the end here. So. sharpening on it and, and put the handle on. But yeah, I uh, temper it tomorrow, I think. Over here I have a, uh, a bar that's going to get heated up because what I have to do in that ammo box there is granola oil. Well, I want to heat that oil up first before I use it for quenching. I also have a magnet I had put here because I have to take the uh, tomahawk to critical temperature. What that does, that uh, it makes it. I have to make sure it's non-magnetic when I do that. And that's before I quench it. I also have a magnet over here too. So. So right now I'm going to warm up the uh, oil. I didn't want to stick to this magnet I have. We're only worried about the end. Oh, here we go. It's starting to smell like French fries right around here. <laughs> There's some young crows over there in the bush, right? Eh? Oh, I'm looking for. Oh, I 
don't know if you can see it. It's hard. It might be hard to see. We got a little bit of straw color in here. Right on the chip. So I got to point it in there real quick. Let me wipe with something else here. That file doesn't really want to grab on that, like it does right there, see? It's kind of grabbing. Well, that, that's because this is a little bit softer. Originally, when I put it in, I just put it in up to here. So, that's probably going to make a nice cut. Yeah, that file wants to just slide right off of it. Good deal. I think we have a success. I don't see where that is split anywhere. So, I see no cracks. I see no warps. You know, I guess what they say to do is, probably has to do with the rotation of the earth. But they like you to go north and south on your oil. See how that blade is? That's north is out there. North and south. You don't ever want to, when you're crunching it, move it around or... I don't know about this north or, north or south thing, but I did it just because. So, we'll see how that goes. There be my tomahawk. You may need to polish it up, put it up, put a good edge on it. And then we'll get a handle going. I'll make a video of uh, when I get the handle you know, started. To plane it down and put it in there. So... Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm going to post the video on YouTube. I have a couple other ones. I have the one on YouTube that where I beat this out. So, check it out.